One day, Trust was puffing on a cigarette. He was very sad. Pretend there's a cigarette there. I'm not going to cut up another cotton bod just to make a freaking cigarette. Everywhere he went, he saw boogeymen walking around. With sticks up their asses. I mean, damn. Damn, look at them screws, man. Stupid Poundland toys. Just then, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles turned up. Hello, I'm racist! Ah! Oh wait, wrong face. Uh, sorry, Billy. Uh, shit. Uh, wrong one. Um, uh, uh where's that face? There, there it is. Uh, 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 there, there we go. It's much better now. Only room for one prince, bitch! And that's Captain Tom Moore. Rest in soul. Hey, Trust, what's the matter? Why the long face? Shut the fuck up, you stupid little steam engine. Why? What are you so angry about? I lost one of my best mates because he was a paedophile. Oh, why don't you go hang out with 6 9 the crane and pull back the or Toby? Wait, what did you just say? But my friend, ex-friend, is a paedophile. And me and Golden Face did not think about it. It went over our heads, basically. Damn. I'm sorry, man. Pa! I wouldn't take your sympathy anyway. But could I, could I tell my story about something? Like, vent? Yeah, yeah, whatever the fuck that among us shit, I don't fucking care. Alright, what about then? Well, you know how I've been hanging out with Simp, the coach, more? Yeah. I may as well explain why. And, uh, who that paedophile is. Let me take you back to last week. Barry Scott was waiting at the station, and he was very cross. Simp had broken the coach coupling, and now he was stranded at the station for someone to pick up the coach. All the other coaches were frightened of Simp, but she was very rough. Barry was very cross. You bloody coach! Spur! Dodge! Help me! <laughs> Sorry, we're busy! Shit! Just then, Sixteen turned up. Hey, what's up? It's Fizzle Pop Pictures here. Uh, oh, it's my good man's Barry Scott. Oh, uh, 16, I need some help. Simp is, uh, broke my coupling. Well, don't worry, Rhea's coming along. I think she'll collect Simp and then take her away. And Rhea did. Alright, alright, what's this bloody fuss about? 16, get moving. What are you doing stalling in the middle of the line? I've got a milk tanker to deliver. With Pog. Rhea, could you get... Simp off this train, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me go run around first. And Rhea did. She uncovered from Pog and covered the milk tank to Simp. Bah! Fuck you, Pog! I was only reading the news. <laughs> Thanks, 16 and Rhea! And Barry puffed away. So, 16 puffed away too. Come on, Scruffy, we'll take you back to the yard, you homeless old cunt. I need a house! I'm homeless! Rhea puffed away with her strange mixed train. Come along, come along, come along. Shut up, shut up, shut up, replied Simp very grumpily. Pog was rattling in his axle boxes. Rhea was making good time, but Simp was not enjoying the journey. Bah! Fuck this journey! I, I can't take these stupid pink engines! I'm gonna derail the train! You derail the train, and I'll fucking beat your ass, said Pog. But Simp didn't care. She banged her buffers against the milk tanker and caused herself to derail! Hooray! The milk tanker derailed and Pog kept rolling. Rhea applied her brakes. What 
the hell? She said. The scene was a whole mess. I did it! Pog! Oh! Would you look at that golden face? There's been a rot on accident here. Look at that! And I'm stuck in his bloody toll booth! I knew we should have got some spare change from the gas station. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, hello, Trust. Let me show you around the quarry. No! I don't want to get in the quarry! No! And Rhea coupled up back to her tanker. And then... Uh, 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 yeah. Left. Come on, Paul. We're going to deliver this tanker. Yeah, yo, bruv. Why, well, hello there. You must be Simp the Coach. Wait, we've already met before. Let me grab you right here. Come on, Simp. Let's go. And the strange train left. Yes. After a while, Simp had brought her two sons from her previous marriage. Clap and slap the trucks. They wear Nike branded clothes. And so, after they died, me, Golden Face, and Simp all lived together and we all for often forgot about Coochie. Well, Coochie on the other hand. No, Ryan Rudge, don't put me anywhere. It's dangerous. Sorry, Coochie, but I don't deal with pedophiles. Also, I can't afford your Tommy model. I've got other deals to get. No! Do it. Wrong. Damn. I see. Oh. Um. We hate each other's guts, but what happened? That wasn't. I'm sorry about Coochie, man. Even if I don't get along with any of you. And even if, if you are an asshole. It, it can't, I guess that does hurt. I mean, it would, it would fucking suck if I found out, like, fucking, what? Gareth was a racist. Or. Pog was a sex offender. Or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. You run along now. 16. I need my alone time. Yeah. Um. Right. Sure. Bloody poof. He's not all that bad, I guess. I don't know. I still hate his fucking guts for that incident, but I mean... Uh, do I? We conflict a lot of the times and oh what am I talking about fucking shut up you softy puff bloody hell you're gonna become queer like him I don't want to take out any dick up my ass. Jesus Christ Good work. bloody puff railway you always queers Ugh. hey yo it's me 6ix9ine the crane Hello, 6ix9ine. I need some help. I'm escaping from Marty's basement. Oh no, it's Marty! Ah! No, I don't want to go to the collection in 240p!